The Symposium on Fisher Trends in Service-Oriented Computing is the flagship event of our PhD school. Although we feel that we have introduced it yesterday, it's already the tenth time and it is a sign that our research school has its tenth anniversary. Welcome to our symposium. For a number of years now, we practice a format which we call elevator pitch. In my work, we'll allow to simplify the process model complexity. Where students just use one minute, one slide to talk about their research project. I'd like to understand how we need to enhance software architectures to make well-grounded evolution decisions. It is really fascinating to see how they manage to uh, interconnect and find the common theme. I'm analyzing swarm algorithms to actually give an explanation of why they perform that well. Thank you. We try to bring together people from business with our PhD students. So we are very proud to have Chris Schläger from Amazon. He is responsible for the Amazon Web Services. There are people often consider Amazon being the company where you can shop. But uh, our cloud computing uh, business is hardly known, even though it is a very substantial part of Amazon's business today. And I really want to spread the word. And obviously, I'm also looking for talent to grow the office. And we have Englem Go from Silicon Graphics, and he is going to talk about high-performance computing, where we see a big shift in the architecture. This is Twitter. Again, about half a billion tweets a day. And you can visualize where all the tweets are occurring. And if you key in a keyword, say hustle, right? Immediately, within five seconds, the goal is to tell you what, where all the tweets are. From now, from the very this moment streaming data to one year back, and you can point within five seconds, uh, get an answer on a particular tweet. So be careful about what you tweet. It's the 10th symposium, which means 10 years uh, of history. With the PhD school and with the entire institute, uh, one name is tightly connected and that's the name of Pastor Platner. And if you look backwards, if you look at the previous symposia, there's mainly that topic of in-memory computing. And you see really like that idea evolved. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about a research we did in the last uh, two and a half years. Commercial applications, I postulate this now, are, if they are in memory, are only bound by memory. Then we had uh, presentations about first results, about measurements. We have speed gains of beyond a factor thousand. It's about uh, success stories with customers. What you see here on the screen is an application that allows me to analyze my actual point of sales data running on 4 billion records on SAP HANA. This is really fascinating to see how research ideas made it into industry product and I think this is quite unique for our place here. We are very proud to have the PhD school running for 10 years now. Meanwhile, we have rolled out this model also to other universities in Cape Town, in Nanjing, in Haifa and this symposium brings all these people together. It's a great opportunity for the networking and I believe that it's very important uh, in the science. I think NIST is a good platform for, for us and uh, for all the members of the research school. I get the opportunity to interact with people from industry, from IBM, from Silicon Valley. It's also good for your future career. Today is also time to celebrate the 10 years so we have planned a boat trip. Hey. <laughs> After 10 years of success in the PhD school, we obviously look in the future, in the next 10 years to come, or many more. Wishes for the Future Sock Symposium. Dear Future Sock Symposium, I wish that you will bring me more friends from different places. Invite cool speakers like we had in the last couple of years, and new PhD students, and great research. And here is to the next 10 years. Cheers. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>